Hey everyone, how you doing? Welcome to another episode of Bionic Viking Internet Radio, the podcast brought to you by Cantina, the pure cerveza. The Star Wars Cantina. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's Liam, Jordan, and Will here on this fateful night, hanging out, talking about shit. How we doing, fellas? Perfect. Bourbon. bourbon is how you're doing. Your bourbon didn't mix that well because you don't have your RSA. Mm. I, I don't need my... Leave no. me alone, all right? You're we have out, you're we as soon as you out. train your RSA, you can mix the perfect drink. Singling me out, man. Just stick, stick with my beer, my beautiful... Fuck cerveza. is lame. Fuck you. Fuck is. Mm. Seriously, though, how you guys doing? I'm really good. good. Yeah? What, what, what have we been up to, guys? I've been working every week, every day, because one guy was in hospital. But he's back now, so I'm not working. Mysteriously, he dropped. Apparently poisoned. <laughs> they didn't choose to... Uh, it was awesome. <laughs> How about you, John? What have you been up to, man? Just... Uh, nah, I've been preparing for university. Mm. That's pretty exciting. You going to Macquarie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I was... Uh, like, like yeah, Podcast people can't see my face, so I just said, Macquarie's alright, like the campus. It is a very pretty place. It's, there's all the green shit there, and that makes me happy. Yeah. There's plenty of green. There's other, like, there's ponds and shit, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the back, where that guy was getting head, but he... Yeah, I was <laughs> like, going out, you're like, oh, dude, he's getting head. Hey, no, dude, No, I think he was guy. probably just sitting there. You're getting but head, aren't he you? He was sitting there, like, near the bar. Like, not near no, the bar, no, but, was, like, you walk... Like yeah, but you exit the bar, and, like, it was probably just him and his girlfriend, like, sitting by... It's very sus, yeah. Yeah. Bro, well, they no, were I'm totally not, studying anatomy. I'm not saying that... That there was a blowjob happening. I'm just saying that if there was, it was in the thought process. Yeah. Then they must his jumper. Yeah, I Again. missed that jumper. It was a good jumper. I got this one now though. Nice little gray number from Target with, with nice sleeves. Yeah, it was fucking bargain. Sleeves are nice. Mine was thirty nine ninety nine from YD. Sponsor us YD. <laughs> Fuck you and your YD. YD is the fucking swaggiest no. place. Look at these pants. What the fuck dusty. is a YD? Since the young dick. Yeah, I was gonna say that. <laughs> young dicks. We don't want near that old dick here. No, no, we don't want any old dick. <laughs> Only the youngest of dick. Um, but yeah, we, what's uh, what's been going on, man? You been playing any video games? Been seeing any movies? Oh, Steam Halo. Sale. Steam sales. I have now seventy five games. I I've rebought a lot of games. <laughs> I think we need to take you to rehab. <laughs> I bought a lot of games that I already owned on Xbox, but they were so cheap I had to buy them again. I mean, what did you buy? Like Far so... Cry Three, The Dead Islands. Oh, series. dude, Far Cry Three is so good. Though. Fallout, I mean, New especially Vegas. when you add in that, those PC mods. Ah, uh, Far Cry doesn't have um PC support. I mean, mod support. Yeah, no, but you can still you can they... download maps. But yeah, no, no, no. But I mean, like the old school, like drag into the folder. Remember when we used to do that before there was mod support? There might be mods, but there, no, there oh, definitely no, 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 there is. Um, yeah, there's a um. I looked it up. It's like a zombie mod. Fuck yeah! Like a full-on campaign zombie mod. It's yeah. in, it's in beta, and it, um, the first part comes out soon. I love I love zombie games just in general, man. Like, it should be it's good. It's good. But instead of zombies, there's uh the 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 enemy with a machete that runs at you. Oh, but, fuck that. So yeah. they're, they're the zombies, and there's just a lot of them. Oh, I see. Though, they have to beef them up, because... Yeah, I, you just, I, like, kill them easily. Like, yeah. a, a headshot kills anyone. Yeah. Except for Komodo dragons and tigers, for some reason. Yeah. And then they bring in, like, Damien Marley and Skrillex. Bob Marley. That's what Far Cry 4 is going to be, guys. I hope you guys know. <laughs> I'm going to try it out. <laughs> have you heard that song? No. I know it's the pretty song. pretty amazing. I, I have that song in my car. I'm going to no. fry our hair. Make it burn them, or whatever it's called. Oh, make it burn them. Yeah, it's good. Oh, damn. Burn them. Burn them. Apparently, that's uh, Molly's kid. Uh, it's uh, like Bob Go- Molly's kid. Maybe it's, it's like, like his Gong uncle's Junior. kid. I, I have it on my, my phone. Damien Molly, I think his name yeah. is. Where are my phone? Where is the IMDb? I don't know. Hey, yeah, but it's Yeah, but Steam, Steam sales. I bought uh, Fallout New Vegas for, for mods. Mm-hmm. I haven't gone around playing it. Nice. Um, Dead Island Riptide. I've mm. played like 10 minutes and got bored. Yeah. Um, Dead yeah. Island, normal Dead Island, I haven't started yet. Waiting for me to get it and uh, play we, it. We and already have it, but download it. My integrated graphics card, I'm telling you right now, we'll run the shit out of that. No. Um, <laughs> we've, I bought a lot of uh, little titles like Castle Crashes, Battle Block Theater. Risk little of... titles? Well, they're not that big. Indie, more or less, I guess. But um, 
and because Risk- Castle Crash is pretty like that's oh pretty they did pretty well. Yeah. It was one of the new ground. It was pretty good on like Xbox 360 and all that. And turn and me on. My nipples fucking crispy. Yeah, so we have a lot of co-op Mine games on. that we can play later on. Fuck yeah. Oh, no, phone call. Who do this? You better answer that. Don't. Hello, doing? would you like to subscribe to our premium porn service? <laughs> it's his uh, mother. Hello, this is Telstra. Who do you think? All right, cool. All right. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the Steam sales have have been good, uh, not too bad. I mean, I I've taken a look at a couple different things. Three more days of it. Yeah, uh, and apparently on the last day they do on something the, on special. On the twenty ninth of this month, all the games will be the lowest. That, like if they come on flash sale for ninety percent off after flash sale ends, they go down to the like marketed thing. It's like fifty percent. I hope that a uh, violent robot pornography goes on sale because I've always wanted to see. What the fuck yeah, that's is an, that? that's the name of the game. I, I've it's, seen that. Right? And it's fucking I, crazy. I, I don't I read any know. of the title. I just see pornography. I'm like, what? Yeah, What's exactly. That? And then obviously you go ahead and you click the page and you you know look into what that game is about. I need to find my phone. It's checked the flash sales. Drill Do fights Drill Do against Sibian. So Jordan, man, uh, you've been playing some Halo. Been tearing some foals up. Yeah. What have you been doing, man? What have you been playing? Been uh, playing some Spartan Ops. Nice, nice. Some big team slap. Yeah, no, I wish that fucking those titles were um, were backwards compatible because I'd be fucking tearing them up with you. Mm. But uh, unfortunately, mm. unfortunately, that's not the case. We have to wait till uh, most cheap collection. Yes. Cholesterol? Collection. Yeah. Cholesterol. Cholesterol. Um, what did I say? Uh... Yeah, no, Transformers, The Dark Spark, or Rise of the Dark Spark, came out today. Uh, we picked it up. We haven't gotten a chance to play it, but uh, what are you guys thinking about the movie? I haven't seen, I it. seen it. No, but like, what are you thinking before we go in? It's, it's like, going to be know, terrible like all the other ones. I can't I wait the to other, see... I didn't mind the other ones. Michael Bay knows how to touch my buttons. I can't wait to see Marky Monk and the fucking butts. Funky butts. Fuck, I'm having a stroke all day. Yeah, I was having a stroke all day. Yeah, no, it's fun. If, as long as you don't, like, fall down and, like, start, you know... Yeah, my face is starting to droop on the left. Yeah, no, as long as you don't turn into, uh, you know, like, Mickey Rock, it's fine. The bourbon helps. Yeah, well, no, the bourbon helped Mickey Rock initially, but then it came back and... Yeah, well, let's not talk about it. Anymore. It made him melt. <laughs> but anyway, um, Transformers has always been my guilty pleasure movies. Mm. Uh, I, I really dislike them. It's a plain movie. It's Yeah, it is. It's, and it's plain well, Yeah, it's so predictable. Like, no, the, no, like, you watch it on an airplane. Oh, yeah. yeah. Those are, that's the only time I've actually See, seen them. True. I don't know if you can say that anymore because I've seen Six Cents and Shawshank Redemption on my way home from Hawaii. Yeah, but you didn't see it the first time, did you? No, yeah, but good. still. I saw like Hunger Games. I, I didn't, I didn't, even, I didn't, I didn't even watch it. In the last podcast, me and uh, Liam and Nick were talking about how the director of the Hunger Games, his kid, Elliot Rogers, was the guy who shot up all those... All those. Did you hear about that? The guy over in the states. The who guy who um, a bunch who, who, of dude, people. Because the guy he, who recorded it before is like. Oh, that uh, the day of reckoning. That ha- that's, he's that's like hashtag. He's like hashtag all women. Yeah, he sparked that after yeah. that happened. Hashtag all women have to deal with, um, you know, being scared of men in a public situation, which I somewhat agree with, but it's kind of it's it's odd. These like all of those social trends are just so odd. But yeah, no, it was uh, the Hunger Games director. Uh, it was his kid. No Hunger Games three for you. No, there will be, but the, the so guy's gonna be. Yeah, he's gonna be like, dude, I'm so sad that my son killed himself and killed a bunch of people, but I will take the. Uh, I'm so sad my son killed a bunch of people. Oh yeah, that is right. But um, we're so. <laughs> Why'd you say? It, it, no, Why'd just, you say that so sarcastically? You no, know, it just. Dude, it, I would be proud <laughs> if my son. No one no, the says warrior. that. No, no, I'm, I'm sad. He should be like, I'm so ang- disappointed. Angry. He never said that. He never said that. No, no, I wasn't quoting him. Um, I'm sorry. It, I don't the think way the way you said it made it sound like he's like, oh, it 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 sucks that my son killed a bunch of people. It's true though. I know, but what's he gonna man. do about it? Son, don't kill people. It's wrong. It's the right way to do it though. Okay, it's how you raise dad. It. It's, 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 it's how, how you raise it. <laughs> it's how you raise a kid. Don't kill people. You'll go to you'll go rule to jail. Rule number no. Rule number one: obey the law. Don't be a dick. Kill some people. As long as you don't be a dick, you're good in my books. I don't, you know, that's it. That's as long as you can look at a situation and be like, you know what, I wasn't a dick there. Well, actually, no, he, he was probably. Sometimes like, you need to be a dick, though. You need there to are be. Some dick. situations where it's just like elaborate. Okay. 
you get stalked or something, and the only way you can do it. It's not being a dick, though. Being a dick. It's not. No, it's not being a dick, though. The other person might misconstrue that you're being a dick. So yeah, but no, being I a mean, dick is always a point I mean, of if opinion. you if you are going into a situation, so say like that's the same way of being like, you know what? Someone's about to chop your dick off, and if you don't retaliate, you're not a dick. But if you retaliate, you're, you're a dick. bad no. at metaphors. I am amazing. I like having force. a dick. I don't want to get it chopped. It'd be off. like if someone chopped. Speaking chop no, but someone would be like, you you don't need a dick, so it would be okay for them. So it's a point of opinion being a dick. Well, as long as you don't. Be a dick in my eyes. Okay. I am the ultimate judger. All so right. Anyone watch World Cup? I am the, no, I haven't no. fucking... I, every <laughs> single time that there's like the Olympics or whatever it is, I just ignore the shit out of it. And it might be just because, you know, July is when... St- like June, July, uh, you know, that's when it starts... Like stuff starts getting like fucking hectic and like everyone's just so busy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but... Mid, yeah. Yeah. So like you get into it, but I just don't give a fuck. Like I just I've never give, given a fuck. Have you watched much of the World Cup? Yeah. How all much the, have you all watched? the replays anyway? Like, oh I, right, like I, the I don't compilations. Watch yeah. But yeah. I don't know the score until I watch like the replay. No, see, I wish I was like I I wish I was because like, it's passionate not like, about that stuff. It's like it's only like one thirty for the stuff. first game, three thirty for the next, and five, like five thirty for the next game. I so am. they've they've tailored the World Cup in Australia for unemployed people. Because who the I've fuck is going to stay up till 5.30 to watch a game? My dad watches the 1 a.m. ones. He, yeah, but 1 a.m. is 12. Yeah, 1 a.m. is pretty you know, easy, though. Yeah, I can stay up till fucking 1 a.m. No, I, I watched the 5, five o'clock ones because when I started work. That yeah, day. if you have to wake up early. Because I've had, like, had already get my shit done. I just stand there watching fucking World Cup. But who's the dude who watches the 3 a.m.? There's some people. I feel like it's really I feel like easy you have to, to get It depends. If, if it's the team you love, you'd probably watch it. But it's Maybe. really easy to get past that kind of shit because you could just record it. It's so easy to record stuff now. Yeah, then you have true. to um, like everything. You have to ignore horrible. all news. You have to. You can't go on social media. Well, that's it's not it's, hard. It's though. just like the uh, "How if, I Met Your Mother" were, episode where yeah. you're trying to, you know, avoid finding that, out that's who a won funny the oh, it's, it's never that hard though. Mm. It kind of is. Like World Cup, sure, like, World Cup is everywhere. World much. Cup is kind of well, at least like in my well, because the, bloody football is America. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, and football. Yeah, but that were in America at the time. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, as far as like you know, soccer or football or however you want to call it, um, soccer because I'm Australian. There you go, soccer. Um, no, well, man, it's it's a uh, soccer, mate. Fucking soccer. Love me to see them kick that fucking ball with their feet, mate. It's great. Australia's not that bad. No, really, no, it's <laughs> not. That bad. Australia's actually done pretty pretty decent. Uh, well, like, at least we didn't get our ass kicked by like, Spain, you bitches. That's no, all I like, know. No, the Netherlands game. The Netherlands yeah. game. Like, Netherlands team is extremely good. Yeah, didn't they fucking kick Spain's ass? They kicked our ass, but um, I when when mm. when the game was going to happen, we only lost three two though, wasn't it? Yeah, when, when I was when I was expected, I I'm like, yeah, we're not going to get a goal, mm. but we got goals. And I'm like, well, because. You don't have yeah. to win, you don't have to win a game to stay in the World Cup. Yeah, yeah, you just I get need you. goals. Yeah, that's what. See, what? How is it the scoring system? You need goals or draws to stay in. Yeah, I thought that was the way that I it don't. Know, I don't know the table. Uh, cause yeah, I yeah. I don't pay attention to any of that shit. No, I don't sport, find it important in my sport, life. Sport, like I could see, like you know, within an association, you know, like a national I'm gonna association. I'm going to play soccer next year. As far as international, soccer's though, pretty fun to play. Mm. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Um, I like it. Yeah, I just it's it's too boring to watch. It's like uh, no, go- golf perfect... or cricket are uh, boring to watch. Yeah, no, but the okay, perfect okay. the perfect no no the 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 ninety fifth mi- minute goal between Portugal and that America, was awesome. That, that was, was amazing. Because awesome. I'm uh, watching that. I was watching that live because yeah. it was one of the last games during yeah the thing. I had to wake up early, and I'm like, that's fucking I'm like, sweet. No. Because yeah. uh, they scored the equalizer in the 95th minute. Yeah. And America was so pissed. But any like, sport, we got this. Any sport, though. It, like, I mean, that can happen in any sport. But the perfect analogy for soccer is this one scene in the, I, the IT crowd or the IT crowd. Have you seen? Heard about the IT crowd? It's just about three dudes that work as IT, like, like you know, technicians. It sounds familiar. For IT. Anyway, um, you ever see The Watch? Yeah. That was a shit movie. Jama- fucking hate Jama- movie. Jamarcus or Demarcus? You know, the guy. The, the alien. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spoilers. Uh, I enjoy the watch, but um, yeah, that it. guy is in it, and he's like, he's like at a football game with his buddy, and he's like, he's like, will that man kick the ball backwards? 
It seems he has, and the crowd deems that apparently as something worth applauding. Like it's Sport just so... hasn't made sense to me. Like it's fun to play, but when it's like, oh, the footage on the weekend, I can't fucking wait. This. I can get hyped it's... though. I fucking I don't can get, get hyped. I don't get hyped. I feel like it's, it's just a waste of my time. Well, I the World Cup, well, if, if it's shit. if it's something like a UFC fight or like a fucking like a, a really big basketball game, yeah. Just because, like, you you literally, like, it's the only thing, well, not the only thing, but it's it's one of those things that makes you just go, wow, like, fuck. Well, the World cool. Cup's more action than what you were explaining. Like, he passes it back. Like, the World Cup is all attacking. There's barely any defense at all. Which is pr- pretty much what I'd rather watch. It was pre- it's been pretty intense. Most Offense of is definitely funner to watch than defense. But he, or, like, you know, yeah. the proper way to... No one likes defense because you're not doing anything. Yeah, that's true. You just got, like, if the ball comes to you, kick it away or kick it out. And That's the, what they do in training. The only game I really, the really coast. enjoy watching is hockey. Mm. Hockey's fucking sweet. Oh, I'm actually okay. really excited for NHL 15. That looks wicked. That game looks dope. Have you seen the uh, screenshots for it yet? No. It looks like <laughs> the best game. It literally looks like the best game I have ever seen. As far as graphically. It, it's just one screenshot and I was like, holy shit. Like, holy shit. It's fucking crazy. The NBA games, the uh, the amazing. 2K NBA games, yeah. they look really good. Yeah, I'm I'm wondering what they'll do because um, they're handling the uh, WWE series now. They and are? I loved fucking SmackDown versus Raw. Like the first one was really good, and before that, SmackDown Here Comes the Pain. All those games were so fun. I mean, you know, say what you will about wrestling, will gay. <laughs> 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 Say what you will about wrestling as a well, as, as, as a sports sport. uh, sports entertainment or whatever you want theater. to call it. As yeah. a dramatic theater. Musical, yeah, <laughs> as dramatic theater or whatever it is. Say what you will about it, but um, they, those games are so fun. But yeah. they but they didn't show anything at E three. It comes out the eighth of October. Ah, oh, speaking of E three, nothing, dude. Uh, nothing. The two games I was pumped most for. Halo five, five obviously most everyone. Of all. Yeah, fuck yeah. And then Battlefront. Three, yeah, three? no gameplay, no trailers, nothing. No nothing. It's just like we went to Lucas Art Studios and we just took his models, like every other Star Wars game. Yeah. Why? What was that for? Whoop de fucking. For Battlefront. For <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Battlefront. Fuck you. <laughs> Battlefront three. Yeah, the trailer for Battlefront three. It wasn't a trailer though. It was just showing what they did. They did like they took his models. Yeah, we went to like, Hoth. Well, we they're, they're to not this. gonna be like we're gonna make new stormtroopers. Gonna, no, no. We're gonna but, copy. <laughs> yeah, no. Have to, but it would be Star cool Wars. if I'd like it's to a see new some game. New you need it. Yeah, I mean, you need to introduce some new. Well, shit. Star Wars Battlefront One and Two were based off movies. Yeah, but like, what the fuck are they gonna base three off? Movies or uh, the, like the I books? Mean, there's books. Yeah, well, I would. I would like I to see. I don't think they'll go them... off the books because the movies aren't going off the books now. Mm. Mm. I think they'll they see. Could... Oh, yeah. Like the implement. I I want to see like some new shit, man. You know what I mean? Some new shit. Like, whatever. Even if it's, like, one enemy or one... Just new models, dude. Like, new shit. Like, because there's so many movie games. You're like, okay. Well, like, you for got, example, well, Transformers. You only have the, oh, you only have the Empire versus Rebels. You're not going to add a new faction. No, you don't have to. We're going to ha- we're add... Gonna add the Jabba. Fuck it. You could. No. Yeah, you could. Giant no. slug. You, you don't want he to. Can't, he can't even hold the arms. You don't do yeah. Yeah, do yeah, but they could create do their own fucking thing. I'm just saying, like, show a bit of innovation. Like... They, you they can do like to... Mandalorians versus um. You mean mi- midichlorians? No, Mandalorian. 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 Mandalorians is that shit in your blood. Man- no, no, there are midichlorians. In... Yes, but no, it's min- midichlorians is no. what makes the force. Mandalor- See? Mandalorians are are what Boba Fett is. He's a Mandalorian. No, See, I'd he's love got Mandalorian fucking... armor. He's well, yeah, human. the Mandalorian is is like the the uh the clan of. Well, like, e- either way, yeah. either way, like. I just like to see something new coming from that series, but yeah, it was a shame we didn't see any uh any trailers from that. I like anyway, this... we talked about E three last time. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you guys hear about um the controversy uh coming from Seth Rogen and James Franco's new film, The Interview? Have you heard anything about that? No, I haven't heard. No, I haven't about heard. That. So the entire film is about James Franco and uh, and Seth Rogen uh, basically assassinating Kim Jong Un. Uh, I, now, a representative from the North Korean Foreign Ministry has come out and said that this movie is a direct act of war. Wow. And that if it releases, and if the U.S. Uh, government condones the release and the showing of this movie, 
they will be forced to retaliate. Weren't they going to do oh war like God. a couple months ago? They were like threatening. They were going to no, do no. war. <laughs> no, <laughs> shut the fuck up. You, you speak like the country's doing drugs. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, dude, no, dude, I no, went to a no. party last night. I did like four lines of war, man. It was fucking, <laughs> fucking Nukes crazy. everywhere. <laughs> no, they're, they're like, we have missiles. We're going to do something to South Korea. Like they'll, yeah, they're, they're yeah. Ha- like basically, like, like prepare because we're going to fucking get yeah, a bucket and then, of shit and, and, and chuck then, it on your like, face. And then the UN was like, okay, well, uh, we'll isolate North Korea. And yeah. then they're like, okay, we won't do it. Yeah. Like, yeah. they're pussied out. North yeah. Korea is constantly <laughs> flexing. North Korea, you pussies. Fuck North Korea. They're, they're Fuck constantly Korea. flexing their, <laughs> their military might. They do have missiles and Mate, shit, but Kim, they don't use them. They don't. Kim Jong-il, like, I don't want rode them to a use horse. Them. No, if they used it, That's that would be cool. crazy shit. Kim Jong-il run up, rode a horse. Yeah, and he, kill, he, he, he killed his uncle. Yeah, but that was because he Good looked Good for him, him he's a fuckwit. If you look at Kim Jong Un, no, you can't. You can't say all North Koreans are fuckwits. They're, they're kind of forced to be. No, like, I said Kim Jong Un was yeah. a fuckwit. Yeah. Oh fuck yeah! No, no, I was about to say they're all, but no, they're not. But no, God, no, fuck no! You can't define an that, entire you know you, collection of people. You're born into yeah. propaganda. You're well, you're, believe you're, it. Yeah, but you're born. You're also born where you can't choose that shit. Yeah. Like no. that, literally, like every baby is like some fucking clean slate with whatever genetics what you're born ISIS? with. What the the Iraq the Iraq thing. I did not hear that. about that. Go on, go on. The bloody terrorist group ISIS that are taking back the entire Afghanistan. Never heard about yeah, it. Yeah, I haven't heard that yet. They're attacking Baghdad. They've already taken back all major cities in um, Afghanistan. And the, the ISIS, ISIS, what does that stand for? It's like Israeli blah, blah, blah. They're, oh, they're, no. a, group, they're a new in- group. Israeli cunts? Fuck off. No. Um, Israeli <laughs> cunts evacuating sexual There's no desire. C in There's ISIS. There's an S. Oh, it's I S I S. And sis. It's but um they they're a group of like Al Qaeda and like all this shit mixed together. And they're re- So no, well it's basically just like like it's, it's a new Middle terrorist. Group. terrorist. It's the new terrorist group in Afghanistan. Are they religiously motivated? It, it's the no, new kid on the, the government. Block. They're trying to bloody destroy what yeah but 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 for religious reasons though like most no, of them it's not religious reasons they just want like the land back or something they're just cunts they're te- no, <laughs> shut, the, shut the fuck and let me explain <laughs> okay okay if you if you haven't heard of it don't fucking input all right all right oh, oh fuck go on okay i have this what, what they're doing they're like going through um Afga- oh so it's I- isl I-S-I-L. So it's not ice. It's ISIL. Oh, all right. Well, who the fuck cares what that name is? What are they doing? Yeah, um, they're going through Iraq and overrunning all the major cities and all the civilians are either getting killed by them or like have to evacuate somewhere and they're all dying because they're homeless, foodless. Or, and they're going to every major city in Iraq and they're, they're attacking Baghdad. Um, the US isn't going to bring troops back to the Middle East. No shit. So they they put they, they shouldn't. No they, shit. They, they've they brought back like three hundred military like uh, officers or trainers to train the Iraq, Afghanistan. Oh well, yeah, the, whatever. The, it is, the, yeah. the Iraq army. That's to, what they were doing before. They didn't yeah, work. the Australians were doing that too. Known known as ISIL or ISIS. It, oh, ISIL or ISIS. All right. But they're, so they're what is their motivation? Too. I don't know. Religious. It would be they that they don't. Well, I I don't know if if it mentions it in any of the articles that you could find. Well, then definitely speak up. But I I'd imagine that it would be you know we want religious, we want religious like you know Muslim uh, values and Muslim morals you know uh, displayed in uh, the laws of Afghanistan and you know all this. Um, Stuff and that, that really sucks because they've made a lot of progress in Afghanistan. They have. That's one of the. That's one of the company. Uh, the companies. The countries in the Middle East that has made. Uh, you know, a considerable. Uh, you know, progress when it comes to. And they're winning as well. Like stuff. um, the Iraq government army is like, has all this technological like airstrikes and all this sh- all this shit, and they're still not pushing them back. Like yeah, but, they, back but as so soon it's like a as, yeah, but, thing going on right now. But as soon, as soon as it, you know, like, someone will step in. Like, it won't be the States because there's no fucking way that Obama's going to risk going in at that point. You know, again. Maybe but, like UK or Australia? I don't, I don't think, I don't think any of those will. I think it'll probably be the neighbors of Afghanistan. 
Um, well, Iraq. But they don't want that Iraq. shit to come into the. Oh, it's gonna come there anyway. Are you kidding me? Yeah, well, no, but they come in, so it's like we don't want this shit. So it's we'll stop but, it here. But they're like, right, oh, they're the, all the Western armies have left. We should pop out of um, our holes in the ground and re- <laughs> retake Iraq. Yeah, and, and undo everything that they've. Uh, I, I remember um, watching this documentary, and they were interviewing just people in Iraq, and they were afraid of the Americans leaving because they would come back. But that could just be like. Yeah, say this. I mean, I think... Oh, they, they executed, like, 300 Iraq soldiers the other day. Like Yeah, and then probably way, them. way more. Like, but they publicly executed, is that what you mean? Like, they yeah. brought them down the street and tied them up. And, you know, I think that th- this is the exact same as everything else that has been shown by, you know, terrorist organizations worldwide. It's just, like I said before, just don't be a dick, man. Like, if you're a dick, like, this is the, this is the shittiest thing, because I don't, I'm not, like, a supporter of war. I don't, you know, condone it. I don't think that it's net well like i do think it is necessary in the case of these fucks but i mean it's just it's just fucked up that like humans can actually get manipulated to the state that they're gonna kill other people like i mean yeah. as if as if they fucking knew like those iraq soldiers they just had they were just like all right well you represent something that i don't agree with so that way you're gonna die it's not like you had a family or which anything, is so. which is pretty much <laughs> the ultimate way of being a dick like i mean you, you're being a dick you I know, know. A, a lot of soldiers don't realize that the people they're fighting are people too yeah no well that's the thing but i mean if these fuckers i wouldn't define them as human like yeah sure physically they're human but Anything that's going to get you in a mind state, whether it's a religion or a mental disorder, whatever it is, whatever, anything that's going to get you in the mental mind state where you can execute another dude just because he doesn't like agree with I, what you agree with. Or, or think about it like you have your perfect soldier if they don't really care about the enemy. Well, I think so it's a bit that, different. That's what war is. It's no, like, well, kill I, your enemy. I think Kill it's a it. bit different in this case. I mean, these people are just coming into cities, fucking people right in the ass and like that you know what i mean they, they, don't, they don't have a choice but that's, to fight back. that's still a war yeah but they don't have a choice to fight back it's not that oh you you're you are um you know you believe in something that i don't agree with it's simply that you are killing everyone around yeah yeah me. i know i have no i'm like, talking about like the, the isis soldiers well the, yeah they're fucks yeah they're fucks fuck them like fuck them in their stupid asses jay and sign the bob style bro <laughs> what a shitty movie fucking love kevin smith jay muse Love them. But, uh, yeah, speaking of not being a dick, uh, recently uh, a Chinese hospital instilled the first ever automatic sperm extraction machine. I've, I've seen stuff on that. Yeah. I haven't read it, though. Yeah, no, what it's pretty crazy. Uh, a hospital in... Uh, oh, where, where was the... Com- I, I can't remember which city it was. it was. A major city in China, they instilled a sperm extraction machine. It's basically like this machine you put your male member... Your male dispenser. So what the ISIS people are trying <laughs> trying to do is um. <laughs> I'm talking about okay, male dispensers here, well, I know, but What the ISIS are trying to do? They're trying to bring down the cover, current, current government, and um. And put a jihad it, on them. Yeah, it's a jihad. Um, uh, it's always these jihads, hell. you know. Like they're, that they're trying to, to like, on strict and extreme versions of Shari Shari law. So you're reading uh, this from uh, yeah. au dot answers dot yeah, yahoo, 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 yahoo com. Answers. Yeah. So take it with a grain of salt, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Who answers <laughs> about um, fire? <laughs> but basically, yeah. So they they're putting a jihad on the government, and so they want they're to trying to o- overthrow the Iraqi government. Yeah. So they want Sharia law in Iraq. Basically, that's the whole thing. Oh, I want to go back that. to the fucking Stone Age, and I, you know, I feel bad. I, I really do feel bad. Fighting for the people modern de- democratic that. and govern- government based freedom. Freedom. Okay. Just so you Humans know, humans that fight freedom. Just Think about that, dude. We're all born free, and these are humans that fight freedom. How do we you don't get want that, freedom. How do you get in that mind state? Wait, wait, we gotta, we gotta establish something first. Just so you know, we don't hate like Muslims or anything. Oh, we hate it's all not, religion. It's not, it's not about. It's not, it's not about the it's religious. It's not about man. religion. It's just overthrowing the government. Once and again, yeah, no, but they be... want to instill Sharia law, which came from religion. Once again, don't be a dick. We, we, see, we don't hate religious people. We don't hate, like, I mean, if you want to believe in whatever you want to believe, you have the freedom to do it. Just don't force it on anyone else. If and they don't want especially it. not taking people's lives. I mean, that's, that's really like the extent of it. If you're going to be that much of a dick. Okay. I've, I've got a question for you I guys. I mean, Gary Busey's going to come knocking. If you had to pick one religion, what would it be? Buddhism. Yeah, same. Uh, I don't. 
don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't uh, really old agree gods with Cthulhu. Yeah, fuck yeah. I'll follow Cthulhu. Show. Yeah, fuck it. I'll do that. But I yeah, no, I don't. I, I've never. Be part the, of the Saint main reason, the Mexico. main, yeah, the, no, the main reason that I, I'm not religious is, isn't because you know, oh, I'd have to. I don't care what I do when I die. I'm dead. That's what I mean. I'm in the ground, right? Like, so it doesn't really matter. What, what life like, are you gonna have in the ground? I, I'm not gonna I, fuck well, bitches and get drunk. <laughs> You're dead. Personally, personally, I think <laughs> I want there to be an undead rapper coming out, fucking dead. Dead pussy. What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, go on. Oh, there's none left. It's just the pelvis. <laughs> Personally, I think it's important to study all these religions so you know where these people are coming from and there's always good morals in there. There's always something good mm. out of What I hate religion. as well, like in, I think it's mm. in Melbourne, they're like, the, the community is like, don't build a Muslim temple in our mosque. place. Yeah. A mosque, don't build a mosque. Cause well, that's like, another way of just being a dick. Because it's like, yeah. they'll endorse terrorism. Like, how? It's like, dude, yeah, it's no, a build- fuck off. But that's just straight up it's ignorance, build- man. Yeah, they really said that? Like, you can't even yeah. acknowledge. That's what, that's what they're like. It'll endorse terrorist attacks. Oh, that's so hard. Yeah. I'm like, it's like... It's a religious view. Like, I mean, I get it. Yeah, all right. So, these people who will come to the mosque uh, share the same religion as the people that have, you know, committed fi- fi- violent acts overseas. Doesn't make them the same people. Don't I mean, build shit, a church because fucking... atheists will do like Dude, there are, there are, vandalism. Yeah. yeah, there are there are Christians that there there are obviously, and you look like back in time, Hitler was a Christian. He he might not have been in his personal life, but he projected Christian the, values. Yeah, in, in his public life, he projected a Christian. Um, Many now, of the Nazis. Were. Now, like just because you're a religious person and you you share the religious values of, you know, some people that are dicks, doesn't mean that you you yourself are a dick. Yeah. I don't know if you guys so have been to a mosque or anything, but they have, are, yeah. they are very welcome to visitors. Oh fuck they're yeah! They're very nice. Definitely very nice. I don't see how they're endorsing fucking yeah. terrorism. That's no, just no. being definitely. stupid and not looking at the facts. Well, yeah, but that's that's definitely you know if you think about it, dude. Like I mean, I can't remember which comedian it was, but uh, you know they they just basically said we're not we're not all Westboro Bas- Baptist Church. <laughs> fuck the Westboro Baptist Church. Oh. And fuck Fred, whatever his name is. I don't know. I don't know his name. But anyway, yeah, no, I, I don't know if fuck you guys... Fred. Yeah, fuck Fred. Yeah, fuck Fred. Fuck you, Fred. Fuck him. Um, but yeah, no, I don't, I don't remember which comedian it was. But it was like, when people are in shitty situations, I mean, they just... They just... They were fucking crazy and they start doing stupid shit. And he was saying that if, you know, if I was following the law that they had... Think about it. Religious law. You can't jack off. You've got sand in your fucking armpits, ass crack, and gooch. You know, you you can't fuck the wife that you have without bearing children. You can't do all of these things that you're born free to do. I mean, you're gonna be pissed. And that's just the, that's the simple situation. When people aren't happy, they go around fucking just do crazy shit. Yeah. Whether it's protest or you know do all this. But anyway, this is way too heavy. Yeah. It's way too heavy. Back to the sexual machine. Yeah, in we're getting China. too gawky. <laughs> Beautiful right. sexual machine in China. Oh my god! This thing extracts <laughs> semen, right? You basically, it's just a little. It looks like a little, um, you know, like a flashlight almost, except it looks like it'd be uh, a more forceful method of flashlight. Give um, us your cum. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Uh, and basically, it's this little like flap thing. You stick yourself in it, vibrates, and it kind of like. I it's I don't even Is know it like a vacuum. I, pretty much. It's kind of, thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> Please come again. Yes. Um, but yeah, no. It's, I hope it's not a communal based thing. It's. <laughs> well, did you, you wash it? I don't this, know. Yeah, Fuck yeah. it. Bring in the next dude. <laughs> we were we were uh, all their dicks smell the same. It won't matter. <laughs> oh fuck, man. Um, but yeah, no, it's uh. Definitely crazy with, um, you know, bringing in an automatic sperm extracting machine. Uh, to get back over to the game side of things, uh, near, near, uh, Japanese games, which I know that you are very well acclimated with, and, uh, loving of, William. Um, I'm not a hipster enough to play them, though. Avatar, The Legend of Korra. Mm, no, I'm good with them. Yes. Uh, if it was like uh, the that, last that, that comes out on the twenty sixth or twenty eighth. The video game? No, the uh, uh the T V series season three. Well the video game has just been announced. Fuck that, it's gonna be terrible. 
It is being developed by the developers of Bayonetta. Oh, it's going to be bad then. Uh, Wonderful 101. No, I never heard of that. <laughs> Fuck that game, bro. Um, but yeah, no, it's. I think it's going to be fucking sweet, dude. Like Avatar, Legend of Korra. I mean, no, I'm a um, big fan of In comparison of... of um, doing an independent storyline for the entire game. In, in comparison to Aang and Korra, Korra's a little bitch. Fuck her. <laughs> Jesus, what do you mean? Does she not go through the same trial? No, she's yeah, she, a Buddhist or what is it? She's like, she's not funny for one. <laughs> Aang was always cheeky, you know. I, I can no, always she, relate to that. She, man. She's, she's like, she's like a teenage girl. She, oh, she, they suck. Oh, so <laughs> much different than a teenage boy. Aang. Yeah, they suck too. <laughs> Fuck you, teenagers. <laughs> us. <laughs> Fuck us. But uh, Fuck up, yeah. Please. Anyway, there's there's um there's a new Legend of Korra game. There there hasn't been any more. I can't wait for the season three though, because Zuko comes back. Fuck you. Yeah, Jordan Zuko. High five. Dooku? Fuck yeah. Cool. Count Dooku. <laughs> Fuck. That's he is the stupidest character in that entire series. I love him, but god damn well, it, Count Dooku. Dooku. He's yeah. not that bad. Christopher Lee. He's I like I know I like. The I actor. became a I like Sith everything. to warn the Jedi of That's the my Sith. point, though. It makes <laughs> like, no what sense. What the fuck? It's the stupidest I fucking seen, character I haven't in that seen, entire uh, film. Episode two in a while because I don't yeah. like everyone's hair. I'm like, you look. What did you think bad. about the uh, Yoda fight scene? No, Yoda's it doesn't split. make sense. Why? Okay. Why would he bother walking around? In the me? original trilogy, Yoda always teaches that no matter how fucking weak you are, the Force will can make you the most powerful being. And so when Yoda comes out with a lightsaber, he's like, I want to fuck you up, I will. <laughs> it doesn't make sense because maybe if he took out the lightsaber with the Force and he was directing with the Force and not with his body, because Yoda's fucking weak. He's yeah. not strong. He's a little midget. He's a little green old <laughs> midget. So, so he's they hob- aren't strong <laughs> if a, you know them. He's a hobgoblin. If you know little so jo- green Jordan's, midget um, hobgoblins. So about doing a 30 centimeter gap between his hands. That's the size of Yoda. <laughs> 30 centimeters. He's a tiny motherfucker. He's hey bro, your out. It, it's more 40, 45. <laughs> <laughs> Just going to warn you on that one, but don't worry. But anyway, he teaches that the, the weakest person can become the strongest if you just use the force to its full potential. And then he takes out a lightsaber with his hand, starts jumping around like a fucking flea on steroids. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> I Yeah, I, don't, I never understood that. Um, do you guys have any, uh, you know, expectations, anything you'd like to see in the new episode seven? JJ is pretty good director, but lens, Too many flares. lens flares, man. I won't uh, be able to see the fucking movie. It won't be. No. Every lightsaber and scene you, ever. Well, yeah, no, but you, not even the lightsabers. You think about fucking TIE fighting, anything. I have I mean, no clue. Yeah. Millennium Shh. Falcon. I have no clue what they'll do. Everyone that walks out I'm will so need scared. prescription glasses. That's all I can say. <laughs> Definitely. I uh, I definitely agree with that, but I'm fucking scared, man. Like, I mean, this is episode set, like, a th- like a third trilogy, man. I don't know if I can. I, know. I feel like obviously it's a saga by now, but at least I gotta say, at least he's uh, going back to like animatronics and not just animating. What everything. they need to do, mm. like, he's making the props himself. It's yeah. not like George Lucas in the original, no, the the prequel trilogy. He was like, every scene has something animated. It's like that's the fucking cool. Yeah, that's shit. Yeah. It looks like a fucking cartoon with what? stick figures. Yeah. Fuck you. Have you um? <laughs> I I was watching the star like all the Star Wars re- recently, and every time they change a scene, they use the worst wipes ever. It's the it's, it's always a wipe. just the it's normal just, wipe, right? Yeah. yeah, it's like it's like left to right. Yeah, <laughs> or, or clock wipe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's and they so... might they might as well do the star wipe in Windows Movie Maker. <laughs> Well, and uh, I'm like, wow, that is very bad editing. You could do like an explosion into like a different scene, yeah, like, like or, and, and it'd be like antis- an- anticipating like what happened to the other guy. Or you could just do normal cuts. Yeah, cuts like yeah. cuts is what everyone does in Game of Thrones. I don't know Star Wipes. Fucking does Star Wipes. <laughs> Can you imagine Game of Thrones just like every end of the scene? It's like <laughs> see, that's the and problem. A star wipe. That's the problem. It does with- a Star Wipe and then it goes black and goes. Uh, um, Brand. <laughs> That's the biggest problem with wipes, is it makes me feel like I'm watching the goddamn 60s Adam West Batman. I swear to God. You remember when they used to fucking spin the, the bat symbol and yeah. shit? I feel but like that was every great. time. That, that, made me happy. that is awesome, but I don't want that when I'm fucking watching Anakin be a little bitch in episode three. Oh, Anakin's right? such a piece of shit in those fucking things. In my point of view, the Jedi are evil. <laughs> Well, your I make is- this assumption with no motive. Fuck you. Thank you fuck- for paying us money. 
Fuck Goodbye. your point of view. Sister Petra, bitch. <laughs> it, it makes yeah, me feel like <laughs> it's a comic book. Like, you turn the page, literally. It's like, swipe. And Anakin's just the there, finger up, dick out, beating it right in your face. Bang. He, he reminds me of Kurt Cobain. <laughs> what do you mean? He, Kurt Cobain, if he was more of a whiny cry bitch. Uh-huh. What do you mean, though? Just always Flesh that idea out. You, so, okay, we were talking about grunge earlier today. Grunge-o. And... What was it you said about grunge? How it's the expression of I have all these problems, but I well, it's accept like yeah, them. yeah, basically like I I accept that like I have human flaws and you know I'm gonna do like drugs, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna smoke cigarettes, I'm gonna you know have poor hygiene, I'm gonna do all this shit, and I don't give a fuck basically. See, Anakin reminds me of that, except everyone else has the flaws. Yeah, and he's perfect. <laughs> and I'm fine. Yeah, and he's going out pointing out everyone's flaws. And I don't accept it. Change yourself. But yeah. I'm still a whiny bitch. He's a terrible actor. Stay this way. Hayden Christensen. I reckon he could have done a good him. Anakin That's if they got the guy. writing right. No, I don't know. Like, what other movie has he Jumper. done? Jumper. Oh, he was in that? Yeah, Jumper. Fuck, I, I tried uh, to clear that from my oh, brain. That was the plane movie. I saw that on a plane. That was a pretty bad movie. Yeah. A cool power. That'd be a sweet power. In fucking, life. Yeah, they could have done like, a, a lot of cool like, shit. All you need is movie. a photo of where it is and you can go there. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Fuck, I'd, that'd be so awesome. They could have done so many good things with that that idea. A lot of ideas. It's like you could do so many perfect things. But Samuel like, Jackson's going to shit well. on this. Yeah, he is. He, it's funny. He and, plays... then, and then they, he, he puts him on, on a place in the Grand Canyon. Yeah, yeah. He just leaves and him on a cliff. And then, and then he? All, he goes, he, all he says is like, shit. And that's the end of him. Don't they fight on the fucking moon or something? I don't know. No. They're like, Boop. something, something happens. Something and then crazy. he gets like a truck thrown at him or some shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. That movie's so yeah. stupid. Fuck that movie, man. Fuck that movie. But that, that's I, I hate that though. There are so many good intellectual properties that are just owned by the wrong people. They come up with these great ideas. They get ahead of themselves. They sign a movie contract, and then they realize, holy shit, what I wanted to do isn't gonna happen in six months. And then they go, well, fuck, I'm in this contract, gotta release the movie, and it's a pile of fucking Okay, I, I've got a question for you guys. Now, it, it's a bit, but just let me talk. I also have a question after this. So, why are bad movies made? When I say that, I mean, is it just a simple cash grab? Or does someone have an amazing storyline that they have terrible communication with? Like, I remember I had to make a movie for drama in year 12 and i came up with a storyline that i really enjoyed but it was only what like a seven minute movie that i was allowed and there were so many stories and themes i wanted to convey but it ended up being totally shit because i only had seven minutes to do it in so it was just a complete rush so i'm wondering how directors go with this i think it's a mixture of both yeah no i think it's I mean, in, in your case, it was probably just that you, it was the first time that you were ever directing a film. Yeah, and, and that really time limit, difficult. fucking seven minutes, you can't do anything. Yeah, but even then, I mean, you're not going to feel confident in your role. You're not going to feel confident directing people. Like, it's going to be difficult. Like, you just don't, you know what I mean? Like, it's, there's no way that, you, that you're going to be able to, you know, write a full storyline. And, you know, I'm going through a uh, animation course at the moment. I had a really broad thing I wanted to do. And then I realized, holy fuck, this is going to take me like 40 hours to do it. So I, I altered it. I was like, shit, no, can't do that. Duh, cut that, cut that, switch that. Bam. And then I, then I redid it. So I think that a lot of the time people try to adapt to situations, um, you know, to like meet time limits, meet all this different shit, all, meet all the pressure. And it just doesn't work out sometimes. Uh, but yeah, no, I think there are literally people that like, you can't honestly say that the movie Teeth was made to be a good movie. There's no way. That is just Sharknado. Yeah. Sharknado. There There's you go. a second that's, one. That's literally shock. You There's know why? Second Sharknado. Because people love shitty movies. I love shitty movies. I don't love Sharknado. I, I like I like five minutes of a compilation of the notable funny things in Sharknado. <laughs> yeah. You know, like all the deaths. Great. Did you actually see, see Sharknado? I actually, yeah, I did. I did see Shark. Well, I didn't see the whole movie. I watched the five minute compilation, which is basically it says on the description. Um that it's the only thing that you need to see uh, is the five minutes of that. Um, but yeah, no, basically, basically that's pretty much it. Yeah, they've got a second one coming out in like two weeks or so. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that flick. I'm not going to watch that flick. I'll watch it. I don't like it. Yeah. Just to upset myself, I'll watch it. 
Yeah, just to upset yourself deeply. Definitely. <laughs> For sure. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, we're going to uh, wrap up right now. Uh, thank you very much for watching. What's happening on the channel? Uh, we got... A new... I have no content at all. Well, I have Hearthstone, but I still have to edit it. It may or may not be coming in the future. Uh, we just recorded Outlast and screamed our balls off. Might have seen some balls as well. Ooh. Stay Ooh. tuned for nuts. Yes, Definitely. indeed. Um, and uh, there will be some Transformers... Rise of the Dark Spark, some sort of coverage, initial thoughts, adventure, maybe a final thoughts, which is a new series that we're putting through. I think we should come back and talk about the movie. That yeah. could be interesting. That, yeah, we might be doing stuff like that. Uh, either way, keep your uh, eyes on the channel. Check it out. Uh, this has been Jordan, Will, and Liam from Bionic Viking. And uh, thank you very much for listening. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>